All right, in other news tonight, not now yet another tape, explosive, from Project Veritas showing the same fake news CNN staffer we've been showing you all week, admitting that the network is, quote, trying to help Black Lives Matter, wants to further the left-wing agenda. Take a look. I was trying to do some research on, like, the Asian hate, like, the, you know, the, the people are getting attacked or a bunch of black men that have been attacking Asian um, So I'm like, what are you doing? Like, we're trying to, like, help, like, with the BLM, and, like, you're going to, like, I mean, it's individuals. It's not a people, you know? Um, that's not good. The optics of that are not good. Remember that same CNN employee also admitting the network used COVID death numbers for ratings and, of course, uh, the political benefit of the left. And get this, earlier today, Twitter banned Project Veritas founder and CEO James O'Keefe just as these new videos were trending on that platform. In response, O'Keefe says that he is suing Twitter for defamation and falsely claiming that he was operating fake accounts. Here to explain more is James O'Keefe, along with his attorney, Harmy, uh, Dylan is with us. Uh, James, I don't know if you or your lawyer, last night you told us that you're going to be suing fake news CNN, number one. And let's talk about suing uh, at Jack at Twitter in case he hasn't heard about it yet. Yeah, Sean, I mean, a lot of lawsuits come from, from Project Veritas here. We won in the Supreme Court in New York against the New York Times for defamation. And now we're going to go ahead and sue Twitter for suspending my account and falsely and maliciously claiming uh, that I did something that I did not do. And I, I speak on behalf of a lot of people. I, I started this because I was fighting against injustice. It's wrong what they're doing. They defame millions of people. They defame people every day. And, and we will not lose. In fact, um, you know, we're going to get discovery into Twitter's operations. We can't afford to lose. We can't lose. We've never lost a lawsuit. And we're going to prove malice here. We're going to file a complaint on Monday. Harmeet is here with me, and she'll be helping me file the lawsuit, Sean. And they did this after we released all these bombshell recordings into CNN, showing them, talk, calling themselves propaganda. Uh, it's pretty extraordinary timing, but there are fundamental principles here we have to fight for. And I'm c confident we're going to create an army of people that are going to follow in our footsteps. We have no other option, so we are suing Twitter on Monday. Harmit, let's talk about this Supreme Court case in New York, which now allows discovery of the New York Times. That is huge. That is a big threshold to cross. Times v. Sullivan, as we know, is, is a defining case. Reckless disregard, malice has to be proven. Apparently, the standard was enough that this case now goes to the discovery phase. The same in the Palin lawsuit against the New York Times. The, this has not happened very often at all. I think maybe eight times in history since Times v. Sullivan. Let's talk about that case and dovetail into the merits of the cases against CNN that you'll be bringing and Twitter. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Sean. You're absolutely correct. We have seen it become very difficult for public figures to sue media entities uh, because of a number of doctrines under the First Amendment, but we're beginning to see the tide turn. And the First Amendment protections that these companies enjoy, the media companies, that is, is not absolute. And so like the New York case that you mentioned and like this factual circumstance, Twitter made specific factual statements about our client that are false. And even with the malice standard, those are actionable because Twitter controls that information. So Twitter has used this type of device to make false smear allegations against individuals in order to suspend them time and again. Very few individuals, very few targets have the resources and the frankly, the spine that Project Veritas demonstrates time and again to stand up. So for every James O'Keefe, there are thousands of Americans who write to me about this issue and they don't have the wherewithal to stand up. And so I'm grateful as a lawyer who practices First Amendment law to see people standing up here because there are two sides. And what these companies are doing is coordinating. Uh, it is no accident that devastating critique of CNN that came out day after day this week resulted in the censorship and permanent suspension of this voice. It's unacceptable. It's a cartel type behavior. And we citizens must stand up against it in the courts. And I'm glad to see that we are having some success. The very high standard, I speak very selfishly on this, um, uh, James O'Keefe. 
I'm, believe me, I'm watching this very closely for my own personal reasons and uh, issues that I have and lies that have been told about me by certain media. But this is a really high bar. Interestingly, in every case, legal case, you've not lost a case yet. The fact that you now have discovery of the New York Times is huge. Same with Governor Palin. If you can get discovery of Twitter and discovery of CNN, I can't even imagine the treasure trove of information you'll be able to gather. Sean, we, not only are we going to get discovery, we've already passed motion to dismiss New York Supreme Court. We're gonna, we're gonna, a lot of people, other people are going to be suing. This is about a people's defamation defense fund. So many people are lied about by the media. And this is about fundamental principles, taking on tyranny, a, a guy at CNN calling their outlook propaganda, and yet Twitter suspends me. So we, we are not going to lose. We can't afford to lose. We will depose Twitter people about what they wrote. I will publish those depositions on YouTube. We're the only ones who can do it. I will be the tip of that spear, and we're going to create a movement of people. I, I don't want to sue. I, I never thought I'd be doing this. I have no other option. It's the only way to hold them accountable. Sean, we are going to win. We've already won against the New York Times. We're suing on Monday, and there's going to be a lot more lawsuits. I'm also going to sue CNN, by the way, for what Anna Cabrera said about me, and that'll pass motion to dismiss as well. All right, Armit, uh, last 20 seconds. Look, this is very important. We have been seeing these assaults on the First Amendment and free speech by these big tech companies for years now. And I'm thrilled to be part of the movement to fight back. And this is just one chapter. There will be many more chapters in this fight. All right. Thanks for sharing all these videos. We appreciate it. We'll be watching these cases very closely.